So we wanted to get rid of this awkward undersized metal duct. It was condensating all the time and just straight up undersized for the RTU. It's got this weird offset in it. So we got with our friends over at Fabric Air. They can make this offset directly into the fabric piece. We had them design this airflow pattern that's going to distribute the air because as you can see we're not quite in the middle while the duct was on its way we went ahead and fixed the supply and return duct that feed the room upsized it and externally insulated it and then the duct arrived here and a little there because our duct is offset in the room uh, we're not dead in the middle we have the airflow calculated to try to spread it out as best as possible throughout the room fabric ducts sweat? It depends on the duct, right? So you can see here our metal is sweating because it's reached the temperature of the air inside the duct. Our fabric is not sweating. Why is that? This duct is permeable, right? So we have a CFM or two per foot coming through the duct everywhere. What that does is encase this fabric duct in a force field of air that is the same temperature and humidity inside and outside the duct. 
that's gonna keep this environmental air, which has a very high dew point, from coming into actual contact with the cold duct. In contrast, non-permeable material like metal is gonna come down to temperature and result in condensation. When you work with a quality manufacturer like Fabric Air, they're gonna make sure that their product has permeability to avoid condensation like this. But it is absolutely possible to purchase duct, fabric duct, that is non-permeable and will condensate like this. So a small factor like permeability can have a very big outcome on what you experience with the end result.